a little like half cone thing and then a thing. What am I talking about? So I'm gonna show you this. This is, okay, I'm just gonna show you. This is what they look like. Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another planty video. It is me Desiree and today I originally was going to do uh, plants that were currently in bloom, but I only had three and I thought, oh, I need to beef up that video a little more, I think. So I decided to show not only the ones that are in bloom, but plants that are just kind of thriving in winter for some reason. You know, plants, like people, they go through all their cycles in life and some plants just love the winter time more than the summertime. Like the summertime might be the dormant season and then come winter they're like, finally it's cooled down, finally I can thrive. I don't know if that's why these plants are thriving, but for some reason, these plants have exploded with growth, flowers, and just fun stuff that I just wanted to share. And this first one, I can't believe I didn't put this plant in my yearly favorites video. But there were only spots for 10 plants. Maybe this year I'll do a top 100 plants of 2024. Who knows? But it is the Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant. I... I freaking love this plant so much. It has grown like nobody's business. Like look at it from this angle. Like can you even stand it? Look how beautiful those leaves are. They have the most beautiful pattern on them. I'm sure you can see it. Oh, it's so pretty. The backs are like the opposite with a little red. And then the way that it grows, I love how sturdy these stems are because it kind of pops up. Like you could see this one here going up like this. It just has the most interesting growth pattern. And every plant looks different. I mean, every plant looks different. But every lipstick plant grows differently. They all grow out and up and just wacky and wild and cool. And this one has just, just exploded now that the temperature has cooled down. It's beautiful to see. But the most exciting thing, it's full of flowers. None of the flowers have opened up yet and I literally check them every single day. When I first, first, first got this plant and I uh, was transpotting it, transpotting it? When I was transplanting it into this pot, this terracotta pot, uh, there was one flower on the plant and then once I transplanted it, I never saw the flower again. So I don't know if I knocked it off or something, but I kind of forgot that it was there anyway. But the other day I was, oh, a little piece just fell off. It had a baby. But when I was watering a plant that's next to this one, I saw these little flowers on it and I thought it was a spider, it scared me. And then I saw, oh wait, they're everywhere. There's probably 20 or so flowers on here. They look so cool and when they open, you better believe I'm gonna post a picture on it, maybe on my Instagram. Maybe I'll post one picture this whole year on Instagram like I did last year. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture of the flower and post it and then maybe on my community tab I'll probably show it in a video too because I'll be so excited They are such pretty like really cool looking flowers when they open you'll have to look it up Or I could put a picture here I guess to show you but this plant it's taken off It's gotten so big and bushy and long. I absolutely love this thing. It sits right next to the skylight. So it gets a lot of decent light throughout the day. One thing with this last year though, uh, I was watering a lot of plants last year outside. And hold on, there was a dry stick right here. Is it? I'll cut it off later. Anyway, I was watering a lot of plants outside and as you can see, he's got a little sunburn on him. I did leave this one outside and some of the leaves did get a little scorched, but you know what, it's okay. The plant didn't even seem to mind. It definitely made up for all of the, the sunburn. This is such a beautiful plant. Um, I do treat this one a little bit like a Hoya. I wait till it's 100% dry and then I wait till the leaves don't feel as firm as they did before. Like when your plant is freshly watered or like nicely hydrated, the leaves should feel kind of firm to the touch. Like if you were to bend it, it would break easily. I mean, even if the leaf is soft, I'm not bending it because I just don't want to mess it up. Um, but I do wait till it's 100% dry until I water it again. And it seems to do really well with that care. The top has even filled out. This plant is just surprising me all the time and I cannot wait for those flowers. You better believe I'm taking a thousand pictures of them. Okay, the next one, this is one that has really surprised me. It's really grown on me, like literally and figuratively. 
It is the Lemon Lime Philodendron. I have had this plant for a long time. I always want to take it out of this pot and I always forget because the plant kind of covers it up. Like I don't see it too much. And where this sits, uh, it sits on top of it used to be like an old uh, display for wine that I got for free from work when they were getting rid of a bunch of displays. And we keep DVDs in there now. And this plant sits right on top of there. It's been there forever. I want to say very close to when we moved in, that's where I put it. And it has stayed there for so long. It doesn't get the best light throughout the day. Um, and I don't pay that much attention to it, to be honest. I water it when I'm like, when is the last time I've watered that plant? And I don't know what happened. This late fall winter, this plant went crazy. I don't show this one that often, so I don't I know you don't have like a frame of reference to see what it looked like before, but it did not look like this. All of these long vines just showed up out of nowhere. It filled out like I've never seen. The entire top of the pot is full. I can't believe this. Like literally not a bald spot to be seen. It's insane. I pick this one up all the time now and I'm like, where did you come from? Why are you growing so much? I've never fertilized it. I only water it when I remember, which is not very often. And it has just rewarded me with all of this beautiful growth. I have no idea. Like, look how full that top of the pot is. You should see some of my other plants that are in these kind of pots that are on shelves hanging over the shelf. Only like the front third of the pot has plant and the rest is bare soil. So I have no idea why this plant has done this, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, look, it's insane. I have a feeling this is going to be a plant that I fall in love with in 2024 because, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I can't believe I haven't been appreciating this as much as I should have been. Look at it. And I can't believe the top of the pot is this full. It's insane. So freaking cool. I don't know what it was. Maybe just the heat was too much for it, and now that it's cooling down, it's like... Finally, my turn, my time to shine. So beautiful. Okay, I did have a couple of plants that have flowers. I thought I would show you those too. And I just realized I have this bamboo stick or stake in this plant that is literally doing nothing. It's just in there. I'm sure it had a leaf attached to it at one time, but I gotta take that out already. So this is my alocasia Alocasia Regal Shield. Does that sound right? Does that sound right? Okay, anyway, let me show you the leaf instead of just the stems. So this is the leaf, these big, giant, beautiful leaves. I just cut one off today that was, uh, I don't know, sometimes alocasias just will get like a bend in the leaf and then the leaf is a goner. I think just kind of, you know, that natural life cycle of leaves. But I had left it there for a long time. I finally cut it off. But these leaves are so big and beautiful. This at one time was a plant that I regretted buying just because it was so big. It took up so much space. The leaves were, the leaves it had at the time were so big. It would shade the other plants that were on the table with it. Uh, but now it's only three leaves. I, like I said, that one I cut off this morning was actually right here. You could still see the fresh wound. It's all juicy with that alocasia juice. But it's doing fine. There's also another growth point right here that I noticed this morning. But look at that. It put out a flower. Uh, of course, I thought it was a leaf at first, but it hasn't opened up or anything yet. But uh, it's kind of cool to see. Alocasia flowers aren't really like anything to write home about, like the uh, Black Pagoda lipstick plant flower is going to be. Hopefully they open soon. Uh, but it's kind of cool just to see it anyway. I think the flowers look kind of cool. They all look the same. It's just like a leaf thing with like the little white piece in the middle. Um, I will end up cutting it off after a while, like maybe when it opens up and I enjoy it, I'll cut it off because it's not really doing anything for the plant. And honestly, I don't really care about things doing stuff for the plant. If it looks cool to me, I'll leave it forever. But these flowers, I don't know, for me, they don't really do much, so I cut them off. But who knows, I might leave it. But I wanted to show it to you because it is winter and most of the time the alocasias are, well, a lot of people always say alocasias go dormant and I have a feeling one of mine may have, but I threw it away. But mine is the opposite of dormant, it's putting out a flower, who knows. Um, but I have a couple of other ones that are growing new leaves, a couple that are losing leaves, but you know, it's that natural life cycle. But I wanted to show you this beautiful, soon to be opened flower and his new little growth point in winter, which is kind of cool from an alocasia because uh, normally they're sleeping this time of year. This one isn't necessarily one that's thriving. It is an alocasia as well. 
It's growing a new leaf right here. This is my Alocasia cuprea. And I have to mention this really quick because, well, for one, I let it get really dry. Look at that poor leaf there. But this one looks good. And it's growing a new one, too, in the winter time, which is great. Um, but I don't remember what video it was, but someone commented about their alocasia and I, uh, their alocasia cuprea, and I said, oh, that's too bad I lost mine this year. Hopefully it comes back in the spring. I didn't realize it was still alive. It was facing the window, but the, it was facing this way. Like, say that's the window. So I didn't see that this was actually the plant. I couldn't see the front of the leaf, so I thought it died. And then when I turned it around the other day, I was like, that's... That's the alocasia cuprea that I thought was dead. I looked for the comment, but I couldn't find it because I was going to update it. But I wanted to show you, you know, your alocasias aren't necessarily going to go dormant just because it's winter. So continue taking care of them, water them, fertilize them, all that kind of stuff. Because uh, the inside of your house conditions aren't outside. So if, as long as your house is still warm and you're in, in front of a bright sunny window, even if it's cold outside, the sun is still the sun for the plants. Um, they're still going to grow. And this one's doing really, really well. So I just had to let you know. And I also feel like winter might be the string of pearls season. Because last year this happened the same way. One, they exploded with growth. Like I'm going to show you this one here. Tons of new growth points. The same one over there that I'm going to bring over here. But also the flowers. They get so many flowers on them. This one is flowering. Um, it's also growing. Like look at all these new little strands it's growing. This is the variegated string of pearls. I'm always so proud of this one. I think I mentioned this in my yearly favorites video. Um, I'm always so, so proud of these plants. I can't believe I've kept them alive for so long, but give them water, put them in the brightest, hottest window that you have, and they will just take off. I'm not a huge fan of the scent of the flowers. To me, it smells like camphor. Not, not the best thing ever. My boyfriend says it smells like band-aids. I could see that too. It's a little medicinal, but not my kind of medicinal scent. Uh, but yeah, this thriving and thriving away and getting lots of flowers. This one here too. Tons of new little growth points. I just watered this one last night, so it's nice and wet. Tons of little growth spots here. New little vines popping up. It's just doing so well. And I feel like String of Pearls is just... It's thriving in the winter time. What is that? Oh my gosh, there's a different plant growing in here. I don't know if you could see right there. There's like a, a piece of a different succulent fell in. That's kind of cool. It's probably going to have like a long thing growing out of it. But let me grab the other one and show you all the flowers on that one too. This one is definitely in need of water, so it looks a little sad, but that's okay. It's still flowering like crazy. And also look at this growth. It's tangled tangled stringy growth it is growing like crazy like absolute crazy but yeah putting out flowers growing like crazy even though it's cold outside and it's sitting right against the cold window and it's doing just fine but i read or i heard recently that succulent like plants like this will do okay in that cold window unlike some other plants will so i mean it's done well it was there last year too and it just takes off in the winter time but the flowers I mean, I don't mind them. They're kind of cool to see. But once I can start smelling it around the room, I'll cut them all off because they drive me crazy. But more will grow. It will continue growing and pumping out more flowers. Even though you cut them off, it doesn't even care. It's like, no, I'm going to flower whether you like it or not, lady. Okay, just two more. Two more to talk about. Uh, this one is the Platinum Mist Peace Lily. I just took it out of the water so it might drip here. Um, but this one, this poor thing, I could swear I need to, well for one I need to take it out and I need to put it in a self-watering pot. I was going to film that video today and I just didn't, maybe later or tomorrow. Um, I feel like this peace lily is going to be all roots, no soil. Like I have to water this all the freaking time. Um, anyway, it's flowering, which is kind of cool. They're tiny little flowers, but you know what? They're flowers nonetheless. Well, there's one right there. There's too many leaves in this thing, and then there's one right there too. Little tiny flowers, but you know what? Super cute. And I feel like that's what the flower for the alocasia is gonna look like. Just like a little like half cone thing, and then a thing. What am I talking about? Anyway.
could hear my boyfriend laughing at me from the other room about what I just said. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, last one, I swear. This one are, uh, is our lithops. Uh, this might be a weird one to mention, but these are living in a window. Again, in the winter, it's cold, um, and they're doing really, really well. I know they're not gonna look like they're doing well because they're not doing much, but lithops are a really weird, like, regenerative plant. They're always gonna look the same unless they're in the process of, like, regrowing and dying. So I'm gonna show you this. This is, okay, I'm just gonna show you. This is what they look like. Oh my God. I think this is too perverted to show. This is perverted. Anyway, this is what they look like and they're, they get like this little split in the middle here, opens up and then a new one grows out of that one. And then these two sides will just fall off and die. It seems like the new piece that grows will like suck all the moisture out of these old leaves because over time they'll be kind of around the side crispy like this and then they'll fall right off. Uh, but they're doing really, really well. I'm hoping for them to grow another flower. They grew a flower at one time that was so cute. Succulents just grow like the most pretty flowers. Succulents and cactus grow such pretty flowers for how like weird they look. But it's growing, it's thriving, and it's doing well in winter, okay? But that is it. Those are some of my plants that are thriving and doing well in winter. Let me know some of your plants that are thriving away for you. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.